All right, guys, welcome back. This is the Benjinator. This is Mike. And we are about to descend into the depths of hell in Let's Play Axed Razor. So we uh, tried to do some population growing. It was not successful, but I think we've got... Uh, I think we've hit our peak with that, yeah. but we will... Uh... Yeah, we, we, we're not... We This is not going to be 100% run, but I think we're going to be able to deal fairly well, hopefully, with what's coming next. And so this is going to be a boss run. All, this, all the tier 2 bosses we're going to be fighting now. Thankfully, we got lots of scrolls. We got some lives. Um... But we only we only have a limited amount of magic, so that's gonna be that's gonna make things super tricky. So let's see how well we can do. Um, but I think that if you even if if you lose a life, you get to start from like the last boss that you fought. So it's not like you have to start from the very beginning, right? But then so. again, you only have four lives. So the idea is to try to get through as many bosses as you possibly can without losing, um, you know, without using up too much magic. Because sadly, that does not renew on respawn. Yep. Which is unfortunate, but we'll make this work. Okay, now we deal with Sorceress Werejackal. <laughs> on the upside, this boss isn't too bad. Let's do this. Woo! We fought all these all these guys before, but now we're doing it in a run, which makes it a little bit more interesting. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm thinking at least I'm hoping to get through half the bosses without without dying, but we'll see. <laughs> if we can get to like the fifth one. But if you notice, guys, the background is actually, it's different. It's, it's, it, it, it remains this kind of moonlit thing the whole time, which I think is pretty nifty. All right. I was just assuming that was the top of the volcano. Oh, no, not quite. Um, okay, that totally wasn't worth it, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so just dodge the, dodge the arrow. Uh, and jump and jump and jump and jump. You got this. <sighs> Alright, so... Got to the third boss. So far, doing doing okay. Now for the next one. Whee! I'm not Oh, optimistic. this one. Yeah, this one. This one I might lose at. Ugh. Okay. Your turn. Okay, now I didn't fight most of these bosses, so this is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, you have to be. That, that, that's that's kind of the way to do it when he's up there, is uh, to attack to attack him when he's when he's flying as such. Woo! Woo! All right. Yep. Uh. Gonna get up there. Uh. Well, as long as we don't use up all of our lives before the next boss. I kind of want, yeah, you, you want to kind of save the, the aura for, who is it, like the sixth boss? Because that thing is just awful. <laughs> be the dragon? Yeah, the dragon. Okay. All right, let's, let's get this guy. All right. Do -do -do. Nice. Ah. Yeah, that's the problem. He'll hit you in the foot. Yep. I think this time, this time we're doing okay, though. Yeah. Oh, there we are. It's bit, 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 really staying in one place is okay. Alright, yeah, cool. the uh, fire breathing thing isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. So the next, the fifth one, I think you can kind of, you can kind of juke and jive, because this is the, the, the was it the python, the python oh, right. dude? the snake thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can dance with the snake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Can you ride those? Um, I believe you can. But I'm not. But the, th the problem is, is that it go makes you go up there. So it's not. It's not really as good as just kind of riding. I mean, minus the minus the getting hit by that. Although, um, well, let's let's see if this works. Oh, there we go. That was totally worth it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. 
do do do. All right, spike times. This is a proper boss gauntlet. Oh yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Ah. I thought the inside of Deathheim is just some weird corrupted hellscape with an eclipse. Alright, come on. One more. Ugh! Alright, ugh, this- yeah, this- there's something that I'm missing here. That I wasn't- I was able to he get- His recovery was slower in the- Oh, version. come on! Oh, that was awful. That's disgusting. That was really bad. Oh, come on. What? I can't even hit this guy now? This guy's... Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god. Maybe, that, maybe that's the way to do it. <laughs> that is a part of the way to do it. Mm -hmm. Want to trick him into using this. Ah. There you go. Alright, so maybe, maybe, this is, maybe this is the way to go about it. <laughs> okay. If you pull this off with one frame... Uh. <laughs> Alright, let me try... At least now we, we have full life, so that's okay. good. Okay. Right. What do we got right here? Alright, and... Do, do, do. I've never tried this strategy before. Um, I should have done this a lot earlier. Actually, it looked like you could land on his platform. Oh, wait. I don't... Uh, I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> okay. okay. So this oh, seems to be I working. will if you hand the controller to me, because I'm an idiot, <laughs> but that's besides the point. Okay, I can get two free hits off of him. That's not bad. Take what you can <laughs> get. This is apparently the good strategy. Yay! Okay. Well, I should have done this apparently about two decades ago. <laughs> what did we learn? Yep. Learn new things every day, even with a billion-year-old game. Okay, this is actually quite repetitive and easy. Hooray. Alright, you got this shit. There you go. Right. Now we don't even have to use more magic. <laughs> All right. And okay, one more. We can do it. I believe. Yay! Okay. So now, um, now that we're we're gonna be moving on to the dragon, we can pretty much well not. Not you can pretty much abuse the the charges actually because uh, when we finally fight Tanzra, he's not it's not going to be nearly as uh, demanding as far as magic use. It's not really going to help you out. All right, come on, swoop swoop at me. There we go. Come at me, bro. Okay, now you <laughs> need just a couple swings and you're golden. Yep, just a few swings. Come on, do the do that thing. Ah, that was totally botched, botched that one. All right, there we go. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, okay. sweet. So now, we get to fight Satan himself. What a what a fierce, balding British man Satan he looks to be. <laughs> Those brow crinkles, though. <laughs> yep. Okay. So oh, we, good, we're doing this shit again. Yep. <laughs> gonna send out a meteor shower. But, you have, but as you can I see, you have hunger. lasers. Hooray! So many forms does this dick have? <laughs> uh, just two, I believe. Really? It's just yeah. I, I was I was impressed by how uh, yeah. So this is the uh, that's his first form, and this is his final form. And I don't believe that this is right. You have to you have to kind of dodge through that, and then he has his little things show up, and then he then then he shoots these little these little things out, and uh, basically the fire attack right there is the most difficult thing because that you have to kind of you have to kind of joke and jive, but. Um, okay, I might not, I might not win this time, but I, I don't think, th but this guy really isn't that difficult. Because you just have to do that a bunch. Um, okay, so yeah. Obviously that wasn't successful. Let me give it another shot. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Because yeah, the, the head form is not that hard. Alright. Do, 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 do. I'm not. I'm not quite sure how to dodge that. The meter showers are a little easier to get to get through. Ow, 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 ow. And then, all right. So now we got plenty of energy. So now he turns into Ultra Tanzra. All right. 
Yeah, there we go. Just like every every opportunity to hit him. Even if it's not worth it, you do yeah. have your magic right now. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It just um, I just just because he's like laterally in front of you, I think that's the re only reason why. I should be able to get this guy though. Yeah. Woo! Ah, uh, there to do do do. All right. Die, die. Okay. I think one more of those and I should be okay. I just have to survive until then. Thank God thank God I have this laser thing. Yeah, this would not be a particularly Whoop. great fight if you didn't. Yep. <laughs> and there we go. Hooray! We have defeated <laughs> Evil. Yep. And that is the end of Satan. If only it were that easy. But we made it we made it so. Yay! Now we turn it into a happy little like seashore spot good place for singing soliloquies yep so now we get to see the glorious ending that comes with act razor uh, which is all kind of fun ah uh, well we did it we we managed to beat a game an entire game in a day that's because it's short and of course they're gonna have the slowest text possible but <laughs> that's also okay mm-hmm Yay! We have been good gods. Mm -hmm. Well, free in the sense that they still bow before us. But... Right, yeah. It's, it's. I mean, at least we dealt with that blasphemy problem in uh, Mirhana. That was pretty cool. I'm glad we managed to do that. Alright, let's look at the thriving towns. Hooray! Let's look how awesome we are. And I was playing the happy music in the background, celebrating our manifest magnificence. We. Oh, that guy. Is he the one that ended up dying? Yep. Uh, it really sucks to be a seer. Yep. It seems like there's a high mortality rate if you are one. It's about as, uh, you know, what's the word? <laughs> it's about as, uh, it's about as safe as being an underwater welder. You're gonna be eaten by a shark. Oh boy, now it's getting all philosophical on us. Oh, uh, yeah. So this is, uh... I, I still gotta say the Atos folks, I think, are my favorite. <laughs> but the Blood Pullians have made a comeback. I mean, they did invent wheat. Yes, we we returned the lake to its, right, to its old self way back when, though. That's nothing new. <sighs> there was? Oh, yeah. Did he... I think he's still around. Uh huh. Did he become the mayor or something? I hope he became the mayor. Or at least he started his own uh, underwater research lab. Oh, God. I bet they're feeling pretty shitty about that. Cassandora. That's another scrappy place. Hi. Yeah. Doesn't look very deserty anymore, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure it's still fairly arid there, but alas. <laughs> That's true, yes. Thank you for pointing that out, Mr. Cupid. Or is it miss? Or is it non gendery? <laughs>
Well now, now we get to go to Atos, my favorite place, <laughs> with the dormant volcano. I think it is. I hope it is. Yeah, try to build homes in spite of, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty badass. In spite of the calamitous volcanic explosions. She's like, fuck it, we're building, we're building it. Yep. Oh yeah, that's the guy that we gave rain to. Mm-hmm. Weird last request, but it certainly paid off. He prayed for the guts and the glory of the Aeotians. <laughs> I'm not sure what their adjective is. I'm gonna make it up. Alright. And now, of course, the Mirahanans. We still need to produce a rum distillery. <laughs> <laughs> Jungle Town, the land of the land of blasphemy. <laughs> they did, yes. Uh yeah, the the <laughs> what was it? The hidden temple, right? Mm -hmm. Who also turned out to be in the end the most difficult boss that we faced. That was crazy. And last but not least, the land of the Vikings. Good old North Wall. <laughs> well, it wasn't just the cold climate, it was the fact that there were a bunch of evil skulls everywhere. Yeah, huh? They sure did. Well, at least the world is, uh, temporarily happy. The fact of the matter is, is that there are sequels to this game, not direct ones, but spiritual sequels, which suggest the fact that this is sort of the beginning of their existence, this, this universe. Hmm. And then other bad things happen in that, um, I mean, like in Soul Blazer, if you want to think about that as kind of a spiritual sequel to Act Razor, I mean, it, it does kind of make sense. Mm -hmm. So, and that's another universe where there is a satanic figure, except his name is Death Toll. <laughs> and he makes a deal with a really shitty king. And you don't even get to be God in that game. You get to just be a scrub. You get to be an angel. A seraphim. Okay, I'd like to point out that that's probably the first time I've ever heard anyone refer to a seraphim as a scrub. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's the highest... It's the, it's the highest choir of angels. <laughs> but, um... Just compa by, comparis by comparison to this game where you get to be God, mm. you get to have all the mighty powers, and you get to have somebody, um... So, ooh. What's inside the shrine? Uh-oh. Are they, are they out worshipping me? They better be out worshipping me. I just saved the world from Satan, damn it. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Is this, is this like a commentary? <laughs> oh wow, that's it's kind of deep. <laughs> this is like a discussion about traditional versus more modernized cultures and their their relationship with religion. <laughs> and this is what happens when you take away a prayer from schools. <laughs> Codependency is a hell of a thing. Yep. Yeah, that's that's a very <laughs> I don't know. My my number two is very philosophical. <laughs> but yeah, 
All right. Well, there's our nice little Pangea world right that we, that we get. Hooray! Did 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 did. Well, Mike, did you enjoy playing that game again? Yes, that was heartwarming and a little uh, odd. Yep. It's 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 sometimes odd to play a game that literally is almost 30 years old. Yeah. I'm just trying to. Oh, Matsuya Hashimoto. Yeah, he's done some good stuff, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. And I'm trying. To, I'm just trying to see if there's any familiar names. No, I, I would definitely give this game at least like a 7.5. Oh, Yuzo Kushoro. This this is the guy who's playing the epic music that you're hearing throughout this whole thing. He's yeah. he's quite good. Yeah. I give this game at least like a 7.5 out of 10. I mean, it's it's not perfect, and there's there are better games out there, but this is pretty damn freaking close. <laughs> <laughs> I think this game is a really great piece for its time. I wish they had done better with the uh, sequels and <laughs> yeah, the direct sequel the to this. Premise, like I was I, <laughs> like I had been referring to uh, earlier. There is a sequel to this game, and it d does not have. The world building. Oh, hello, Paul. Paul Bowler. Um, it doesn't have nearly the amount of um, depth, and it's it's actually a much harder game. Like this had its difficult moments, obviously, but I think for the most part, it, it kind of kept the difficulties level d difficulty level fairly in check. So, oh, Matsuya Hashimoto, that guy. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, these probably are not familiar people, but I kind of feel like they might be, so. <laughs> so, I don't know, I, there's, this is definitely the, uh, one of the glory days of Enix, as we all know, got absorbed into Squaresoft later on became Square Enix, but by itself, it had quite a few titles. You know, I, if if Square Enix ever completely snapped and decided to do this again, mm -hmm. I'd probably bust up laughing for a solid half hour. I know. I ain't even going Because it would either turn out to be pretty great or pretty pretty bad. Square's got their shit together now. Mm -hmm. There was a time where they kind of didn't, but... <laughs> yeah, right after the merger, they were still having a hard time figuring out who they wanted to be, but... All right. Well, guys, That's it's true, been a lot of fun. Uh, Mike and I are going to continue with our for what seems to be taking forever, our Final Fantasy VI uh, LP, but we decided to take a nice side break and do Act Racer because it was a game we both loved. So uh, thank you guys for watching. This is the Benjinator. This was Mike. Let's see you guys on the next LP. Thank you.